Hello, let's learn something about mathematics. Today, we are going to learn the divisibility rule for 2, 5, and 10. So these are our key points. Divisibility rules. Easily test if one number can be exactly divided by another. Next, divisible by. When you divide one number by another, the result is a whole number or no remainder. What is a whole number? Simply numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Factor. When a number A is divisible by a number B, then number B is a factor of number A. So, let's proceed to our lesson for us to understand more. Can you tell a number when divided by another number has an exact quotient and no remainder? There is a rule that helps to find out whether a number is divisible or not. Divisibility rules tell whether a number is exactly divisible by other numbers. This rule is a shortcut way to decide whether it is exactly divisible without doing division computation. Let's start with the numbers divisible by 2. If the number ends with even numbers like 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, it is divisible by 2. Examples, 178, 26, 78, 206. Divisible by 5. If the number ends with 5 and 0, it is divisible by 5. Examples, 750, 350, 555, 865. Divisible by 10. If the number ends with 0 and 10, it is divisible by 10. Examples 780, 210, 150, 300. These are all divisible by 10. Now let's play. Answer the following questions with yes or no. You will be given 5 seconds to think. Good luck! Is 238 divisible by 2? The answer is... Yes! Yeah. Is 660 divisible by 5? The answer is yes. Is 250 divisible by 5? The answer is yes. Is 530 divisible by 10? The answer is yes. Is 100 divisible by 10? And the answer is yes. Is 530-divisible-by-10-Now-you-are-ready-to-answer-the-learning-task-go-for-it-kids-good-luck-welcome-back-to-mathematics-5-this-time-we-are-going-to-learn-something-new-about-mathematics-are-you-ready-to-learn-today
After going through this lesson, you are expected to use divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9 to find the common factors of numbers. Divisible by 3 A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits of the number is divisible by 3. Example, 126 is divisible by 3 because the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 6 equals 9 which is divisible by 3. Is 93 divisible by 3? Why? Yes, because the sum of its digits, 9 plus 3, equals 12. And 12 is divisible by or multiple of 3. Thus, 3 is a factor of 93. How about numbers which is divisible by 6? If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. Example, 60 is divisible by 2 because its last digit is 0, which is an even number. Also, 60 is divisible by 3 because the sum of its digits, 6 plus 0, is 6, and 6 is divisible or multiple of 3. So, 60 is divisible by 6. Thus, 6 is a factor of 60. Is 96 divisible by 6? Why? Yes, because 96 is divisible by 2. It ends with an even number, which is divisible by 2. And it is divisible by 3 because 9 plus 6 is 15, which is divisible by 3. Thus, 6 is the factor of 96. Let's proceed to divisible by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits of the number is divisible by or multiple of 9. Example, 81 is divisible by 9 because the sum of its digits 8 plus 1 equals 9. And 9 is obviously divisible by or multiple of 9. Thus, 9 is a factor of 81. Is 8,892 divisible by 9? Why? The answer is yes, because the sum of its digits 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 2 is 27, and 27 is divisible by or multiple of 9. Remember, all numbers that are divisible by 9 are also divisible by 3. All numbers that are divisible by 6 are also divisible by 3. All even numbers that are divisible by 3 are divisible by 6. Matry nga! Now, we are going to find which among 3, 6, and 9 is a common factor of the following pairs of numbers. Are you ready? Let's start. Our first set of numbers, 804 and 306. Your time starts now. Okay, let's find the answer. 804 and 306. First, 804. 804 is divisible by 3 and 6. Why? Because the digits 8 plus 4 is 12, which is divisible by 3 and 6. How about the next number? 306. 306 is divisible by 3, 6, and 9. Why? Again, the digits 3 plus 0 plus 6 equals 9. So it is divisible by 3 and 9. So why is it divisible by 6? Because it ends with an even number which is 6. Therefore, their common factors are 3 
and 6. Our second set of numbers, 321 and 423. Let's find the answer now. For number 2, 321 and 423. First, let's start with 321. 321 is divisible by 3 because when you add 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So 6 is a multiple by 3 but not divisible by 9 and also not divisible by 6 because it does not end with even number. Next is 423. 423 is divisible by 3 and 9 because when you add 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 3 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 and 9. Therefore, their common factor is 3. Third set of number 540 and 198. Time's up. Let's check the answer. 540 and 198. 540 is divisible by 3, 6, and 9 because 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 and 9. Also, it ends with even number which is 0, so it is divisible by 6. 198 is divisible by 3, 6, and 9 because 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 8 equals 18 and 18 is divisible by 3 and 9. Also, it ends with 8 which is an even number so it is divisible by 6. Therefore, their common factor is 3, 6, and 9. Did you get all the answers correctly? Wow! Great job! Good job, guys! High five! Now you are ready to answer the learning test. Go for it, kids! Good luck!